ordinary routine. Day, Salieri's bar was slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking. Maybe my Salieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on, I got what did I know? You <laughs> face for him? Yeah. Is that good? Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. Got that flash ability where he does some like vibrating his cell so fast that he phases through stuff. <laughs> Alright. Let's get on with it. I'm not liking the buttons. Well, the buttons are fine, it's just not what I'm used to. I can go upstairs. Don't mind if I do. Is everybody up here to tell me off if I'm up here? I'm gonna guess that red dot might be that. No? Anything? There's gotta be something good in here. No? Alright. On to the next room. If we can. Can't open you. Can't open you. Can't open you. Alright. We tried. Yeah. Before I mess up with them. It's fine. As we slowly walk down. Maybe we can unlock it at another point. Who knows? Probably people that play this game. Hello, Gills, you there? And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. Thanks. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just Cheers. wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Sounds great fun. Somebody up there smile down on me. I'm struggling to remember the difference between these two. <laughs> Sounds bad, but you know. It's more just remember again. Wait, who's hey, who? Just the guy. I saw this, and I thought of you. Ooh. Why is it always with a revolver? I mean, I know it's a classic, but you around. know. Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. They don't count. Pointed at the target over there. I don't know what that was for. Good posture, real mean. Now, click, click, click. Well, look, uh. Oh, bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me a reload. I opened the chamber and away you go. All right. All right. Last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate Cheers. it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Vinny. Cheers, Vin. <laughs> now I'm just thinking Vin Diesel. <laughs> oh, he is Groot now. That's what he is. Look, you guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the cars. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot one of their names already. It's Pauline, someone else. I can't remember which. I usually have these with names. You, you know how to get, get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes yes. through. Reach inside. 
Easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. Yes, I watched plenty from Saturday night. Hmm. How to pick a lot car. Show me what you can do. You know, it, it, it takes time to pick a lot. Sam, there we go. Which one's Sam? Which one's Paulo? Because we got Tommy Merlin. I'm not sure who the other one is. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. I'm Alfie not sure which one Tony Rollins is. Seems so. Ugh, that's too bad. I was about to bust it out some Indiana Jones then. <laughs> nice, it does it. Why are there people in the random parts of the road? So they want me to get killed. So we want me to kill them so they, I get cops. What did that? Talking about cops. Hey officer. Nothing to see here. Oh, I thought something changed on the speed but it hasn't. What are we collecting again? Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. Well, that's perfect when it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. I think Sam's Tommy Merlin. I don't know, I think this is Paulie, I think. Uh, Sam, Paulie, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha, so little now. She's right, so that, that's Sam, Paulie, that's right. Like her grandma. Oh, that's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? Do you think who Paulie no, reminds no. me of? Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back. Dear Mr. Bertarelli, this letter is a notification that you are in default of your obligation to make payments on your agreed loan. The amount has been overdue since July 15th, 1930. You have ignored requests to pay this debt. Unless the full amount is received within two weeks, I have no choice but to instruct the, this bank to begin the foreclosures process on your home and business. Please act accordingly. Christopher Marchino, Marchino Manager, Grand Imperial Bank. I'll Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without pain? You gonna get the dough or what, Tom? Ooh, it's a great card. Sam Trapani. Is that the someone that we're hanging with? Must be. Where's the money? Ron, fetch do you want me to pull out my gun? Cheers. Hey, hey, hey! If it was, if it wasn't me, it was someone else. So you know, feel yourself lucky. I got it. See you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything, anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your ma. Huh? <coughs> All right, well, we'll pretend that didn't happen. The Sherbert. All right. Okay. Next up, we go to Eugene's place, China store up on Tallo. He's not dead yet. Almost. Or his nephew's taking over. I swear it's always nephews. It's never I brothers. Or sons or whatever. Or niece, well, nephew, cool. or nieces, or daughters, or sisters. Sure. Back in 27, I think. 
<laughs> I should have guessed it collection yeah, was money. Hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs they're in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminding, too. Well, we can remind him. I've got a little toy that's ready to be used. I think the cop car's just been cut by an own police person. Go on, step on it. That was close. I'm curious if this... Technically, this is free run missions, but it... I don't know, can I just do whatever I want at one point? Just choose to go to a mission or choose not to? Is my question. This is it. Maybe we're still in the prologue. Maybe that's the issue. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Come on then, Paul. He's doing the store on his own. Yeah, that's what I can hear in a press mark too. A little steam and he's to let it out on his own. But you gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. I understand. I'm the same. Sounds fun. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. Nice. Seems to have stopped. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Is that the only thing he's fast at? Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week. Put some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop coming? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And yeah, nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. Drive safe, Tom. Molly's oh. real delicate. Out of the car! Don't go anywhere, fella. You gonna book me or what? Sorry. What about that now? I feel like I made a mistake. Oh no, he's coming. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. We just need, we need to get over that bridge. We'll go around, it's fine. Copping hasn't just paid yet. That's not great. I think we might be alright to turn back now. Let's blink him. Looks like we lost them. Nice. Get him next time. The cops just like that sometimes. It's that. They say simulation. I don't think that's quite how it works, but I guess they can't stay looking for the same person forever. Oh, speed limit's changed. Country road, I guess. I said I want to explore this a little bit. As long as I'm somewhere behind that speed limit. Police officer, we should be alright at speed. Probably nearly ran over a bird then. How far is this motel? We can select the top of the map or something. Must be. Like an oil factory. I don't know. Hey, hey Ralphie, I said. Tom sure can drive. No working after hours, cleaning up after me and Sam. 
<laughs> no chance of that, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, I can, I, I can drive. Just make some bad judgment calls. Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam, mate. Right? You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I can smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> When little pony first... Okay. There it is. Finally. Each time you crash, you make little Rafi cry. Shame. No, can we not fuck it there? No. No, right. Move. I think I broke the car. Here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Why can't okay. I punch some stuff up? Yeah, this seems like a great idea. Tom! Tom, I, I took what? Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back. No capiche. You'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to get information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Oh, I'm coming. Alright, which one are you? Is being on my friend Tommy Merlin. I guess we can't go that way then. Sorry, habit. It's also habit. I sprint this button. Come on. Hello. Yeah, again, know a bit more of Hitman 2.0. Question. Can I yeet his body off the side? Nope. Well, that door just started to open then. I guess it's my turn. Well, they're coming. I'm trying to get in quick. Alright. I'm sure they'll come back to bite us soon, but it's fine. Oh, low blow. Oh, I thought he was going for a DDT then. I'll take a guillotine. Come out, come out, wherever you are. All right. right in here. That's I didn't exactly check anything actually in that toilet. I was too busy dealing with him. Can I close this door? Doesn't look like it. Come out and fight us! Come on! What's making it sound like Assassin's Creed. Hello, boys. I'm not tripping, I did see someone out there. 
What is this? How do we reload again? I think we're already reloaded. Alright. Good for you. You're repeating lines. I think it's so different. Gotta be something in there, isn't it? Yeah, it says collect. Mystery fox discovered. Cool. Whoa! Come on then. I'll knock you up. Nice. Admittedly, I wish I had a little more force, but we'll take it. Oh, hello. Nice. Oh, nice. Comic violence. Did I could pick up something else, didn't it? I can pick up a knife. So much better than guns. Back off. Good, I have baseball bat, don't I? Take a knife. Is there any way to heal that I don't know about? But I think we might be alone. We won't take any chances though. Press, there we go, I got it. Run, run a heel. Gimme. pamphlet bring prosperity elect Roberto for city council name for a trusted figure in lost hate heaven owner of boatyards and industry employer up to thousands a friend of the city dutiful father and husband oh, that's the same thing I thought he picks it up my bad I want ammo. Why wouldn't I? It's a bear statue. Now you're done. Oh, am I? Take that. Take that. You're dying today. All right, there we go. That was a bad idea. <laughs> I 
I'm sure the ammo hasn't changed. Unless those ammo boxes refill, they must. But I just shot so many but I don't understand. Is there anything around here that we can quickly use? Or take or whatever, don't really care. Alright. Sam. How do I save Sam? My guess would be in there, but maybe there's something I'm missing. What is this for? Unless I can like drag this or something. Alright, never mind. Hello. Not what I wanted to do. That's fine. Why is my aim awful? Nice. You got a key, mister. Keep doing that to try and sprint around. It's not like quite working. Well, I can open that now. There we go. Sam, oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Come on. Come on. You'd be all right. You're tough as nails. What? What is that? A duffel bag. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Hey, go get the money. What do you think I'm doing? See you in a bit, Paul. To shoot while driving. I'm pretty sure my finger's aimed on the wrong car. Oh, I have infinite bullets. I'm so gonna die. Come on. We're in front of them now. This is definitely one of them zones that we probably could stop, like, struggle to get the cops to catch us. The zones, and he just tried to use it on us. I'm not locking on anymore. What's this? Go. The pace, buddy. I forgot about that. Whoa. Unorthodox. But it's worked. <laughs> Come on. Get out me way. I'm gonna make a really old joke then.
need to pull out on this side. Come on then, show yourself. Come on, give me your best shot. I ask for more. Give me more. Nice. That Think was we're good. What I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But so I couldn't go then. back to being a nobody. Fair enough. Gangs have lost heaven. Chapter complete. Ordinary routine. Oh, we changed here. 1938. Intermezzo. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Sounds like it. Feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and then next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared him to look in the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Okay. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dumb, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's, Grizzle little bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin again. <laughs> Fixing someone's mind, I guess. Tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. Messed up. Not Don Square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We are running booze, out for protection. Me and the boys doing house to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Let's have a bit of fun then.